Hello, I'm Dave and this is Logan out on another walk in the New Forest. Thanks for joining us. Today we're back at the village of Ashurst. Now in a previous walk we did a beautiful walk to the south of the village. Today we're going to be doing a three and a half mile circular route mainly in woodland to the north of the village. Hopefully you're going to come across some interesting things to look at along the way. As Logan has already. <laughs> so do join us. Well I've parked the car at a free car park quite close to the Happy Cheese pub in the village. We've crossed over the uh, main road and we've entered Buskett's enclosure which is quite a relatively new planted in the middle of the 1860s. We've had to cross over a, a tricky stile. You can probably hear the main A35 in the background. It's a road from Ashurst to Lyndhurst, but we'll be getting away from that quite soon. So we're going to head down what looks like uh, quite a well, grassy track, a bit muddy in places, but only for about 800 yards. And then the rest of the walk is going to be pretty much on hard track all the way around. In fact, there are easier ways to get into the enclosure, but the reason I wanted to come down here, there's something right at the bottom that I want to show you later on. Well, we've been heading down this grassy track, see parallel to the a35 but we've been gradually moving away from it we've been going in a westerly direction but i just wanted to show you something here just sort of pan it round now hopefully you'll be able to see it it's a a clearing right in the middle of the um the wooded area and this is known as costicles pond now it's not it's not a pond now but if you look back over maps Oh, the 1814 driver's map, third edition to be precise, which was based on a 1787 survey. This was one of the most impressive expanses of open water in the New Forest. In fact, I think it was only exceeded by Witten Pond at Burley. Now today, the largest um, open area of, of water on the forest is Hatchet Pond, but that wasn't formed until the 1800s and that was artificial anyway but over time this pond here became overgrown uh, in 1998 I think they tried to revive it uh, but it didn't work it's still now just a what a bog and it is actually fenced in all the way around but a little bit of history nonetheless we're now on a, a nice firm footing, what's basically a cycle track. And uh, I say it's a lovely day for walking. Last day of January, it's about three or four degrees. The sun's out, not too much wind, and it's dry. And it is quite peaceful in here. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see what I'm looking at heading down here. So on the left hand side is the Lodge Hill enclosure, quite an old one established in 1810. Looks like it's mainly conifers in this part of the, uh, the forest. And you can see on the side here the banking of the uh, original enclosure boundary but, uh, but, uh, certainly makes a lovely pleasant walk
Well, looks like somebody's been having some bushcraft practice around here. Nice little shelter. Well, there's quite a few along here as well. And over there. When I say half finished shelters, <laughs> maybe it started to rain. Lovely day to be out. Oh, I like I like the I like the earmuffs. <laughs> oh, have a nice ride. We're now quite heavily into the center of the woods now and come across what's probably the only house in the entire area. Pan round so you can have a look and this is the Ironside Lodge. Originally it was an underkeeper's lodge built in 1609 but rebuilt in the late 18th century as the name might suggest a link with ironstone or maybe an iron foundry. Now there was a, another building here in the mid 18th century much larger a master keeper's lodge which was built just a little bit further up on top of the hill and it became the official residence of the uh, well her royal highness princess sophia of gloucester her father was the duke of gloucester uh, lord warden of the new forest at the time and uh, it was used as a prison during the napoleonic wars but sadly it's since been uh, demolished but what a lovely setting. So we're now going to uh, continue. We're through this. This is the Irons Hill enclosure. Quite an old one. This was established in 1810. And there are some pretty old trees, mainly oak in this part. It's lovely with the, the sunlight coming through. A lot of the browns still coming Obviously no leaves on the trees, but uh, on the ground you've still got this almost autumnal feel, although, as I say, it is the end of January. Well, I've just come across something that might interest you. Now from a distance, these just might look like rotting hay or straw bales. But in fact, once you get up close, you'll see that in fact it's uh, baled dried heather. Now I'm guessing that obviously they're here for a reason but uh, baled heather is often used to um, put in streams or ditches or drains to slow up the flow of water. Sometimes used if they're the authorities are trying to put an area back into bog or um, some sort of meander. But, uh, something you don't see too often. Well, as this is something like our 30th walk together on the New Forest, I thought it might be a good idea to tell you a little bit more about Logan. I know a few of my viewers have been asking questions about him. Sorry, are we keeping you up? <laughs> well, as you can see, he's a whippet and he's four years old and I've had him since he was a, a puppy. And as well as helping me on some of these walks, he also does a little bit of dog showing and competitive obedience. In the show ring, he's actually qualified for Crufts in each of the last four years. And two years ago, he got a fourth in your class there, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, he also does obedience as well. He's got his pre-beginner title and rally level one, which isn't bad because it's not easy doing obedience with whippets. Their attention span can often be measured in seconds rather than minutes. He's a lovely chap to uh, have around. He doesn't have any vices. You don't chew, you don't bark. And whippets are actually a lovely breed to have. They're not too big and 
people think they might need a lot of exercise being sporty but not too bad um, he's actually a bit of a couch potato they've got nice short coats which of course makes it easy to keep them clean and they don't smell of course it does mean that in the winter months he has to have a coat out on a walk and his favorite food well it's got to be tesco mini pork cocktail sausages so there we go that's logan should we carry on with our walk now we're just about to go into our next enclosure buskets lawn enclosure again this was one in 1864 and as you can see is uh, conifers either side and we're just going over this cute little bridge and this stream here is called Bartley Water which is a stream and it runs entirely through the New Forest from Bartley all the way out to Totten where it joins the uh, Southampton water but you can see the far bank how how eroded that's become. I wonder if some of those heather bales will be used in this stream. Maybe. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> I love their ear covers. <laughs> what a lovely sight. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wasn't that lovely? We're now crossing Bartley Water for a second time this time we're going south so we've done a sort of circular route through um, Buskett's Lawn enclosure but uh, you can see just looking at uh, I was talking about erosion earlier on you can see how the banks are gradually becoming eroded away there with the uh, roots beginning to show and then I'll pan this way because I don't want to get the sun directly in the camera but this side of the bridge you can see the remnants of uh, well not it is an old Ford from years gone by and quite a a clear stream you can see the gravel at the bottom and very free flowing we've had so much rain in the new forest over the last three or four months Pretty much the same everywhere in the country well folks we've come to the end of our walk we hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up and like and do comment and do subscribe that way you can make sure you can join us for another walk sometime in the future now logan and i are off to the happy cheese pub in the village we've been there before it's a very dog friendly pub so that's where we're going for our bowl of soup today so until next time thanks again for watching and cheerio